Hello YouTube, I'm Tom and Brad, and today we're looking at possibly the most useful mod you can add to Space Engineers, Build Vision. We'll look at what it is, how to install it, some examples of using it, and some less known advanced features that will save you some time while working in Space Engineers. Let's go! Build Vision gives you access to a block's control panel without the need for a physical terminal on the block and probably more useful, without the need to even know what the block is called. So first of all, we need to install the mod. How do we do that? Well, let's quit this game. We'll go to the load option in the menu. So load game. Choose the game that you want to add the mod to. Select edit settings. Go to mods. Browse the workshop. And at the search bar at the top, type in build, and you should see the one labeled Build Vision 2.5. Now this is working and up to date as of March 2021. Once you found it, put a dot in its box to subscribe to it, then close the window down. Then in your list of available mods, look for Build Vision 2.5, click on it, then click the single right arrow to add it to your active mods. Say OK. OK again. And then click on Load to start up your game. In this scenario, I simply want to check the power output of a turbine to see if it's performing well. You may have seen me do this in the Truth About Turbines video. Check that out here. So I'm looking at the turbine. I'm going to hold down the Control key to initiate the peak vision. And that's telling me that the wind turbine is called Wind Turbine 5 and the power Max power is 436, 436, and then this one also 436. Now I know that these are set up optimally to get the max output. These ones won't be, so I'll be able to check that and see 409. Now see that turbines video if you want to want to learn why. So in another scenario, I want to set my rover wheel so that only the front two steer and not the back two. But if we go into the control panel with K, we can have a look and see that a wheel suspension is just named 3x3 three three left, 3x3 three three left 2, right, right 2. Which ones are the front ones? We don't know. So let's find that out using build vision. And when you're doing anything with wheels, particularly with the build vision, you need to actually look at the suspension part of it, not the actual wheel. So I'm going to look at the suspension of this wheel here and find out what it's called. Now I know, looking at it here, that it's going to be the front left. But what does the rover think it's called? So hold down control. It says wheel suspension left. Now I want that to say front left. So while I'm holding control, if I just tap the middle mouse wheel, I bring up the full amount of options that we can use in the build vision window. If I use the mouse wheel, I can scroll up and down them. You can see all of the settings that we're allowed to change. And the one that I want to change is the name. So how do we change the name from here? If I hit the enter key on the keyboard now, it's changed to green and you'll notice in the bottom left of the screen it says global and that's brought up the chat window. So I'm going to hit the backspace key on the keyboard to get rid of the word left. And you'll notice that the global window isn't changing. It doesn't display the whole name wheel suspension. It only displays what you type in. So now I've removed the word left. I'm going to type in front, left. And then you can see in the chat window it says front left. And in the build vision window it says wheel suspension 3x3, three three, front left, and hit enter. And that's the name of that one changed. Now to get rid of this build vision window, there's a couple of ways of doing it. The complicated way is to hold down the shift key and tap the middle mouse button. Alternatively, if you've got that window on the screen, you can just look away and it disappears when you look away. Let's do the same again and we'll change the name of this one. So control, middle mouse wheel, hit enter, backspace, and this one's going to be front right and uh, and now if i jump into the seat and go back into the control panel with k i can see those are the front two wheels and they're the ones that i can make sure are on steering and the other two not now that might seem a bit long-winded because i could have also have just used build vision and scrolled down to where it says steering and when i'm highlighting that Click the mouse wheel to select it, and it will change it to steering off or on. But really, it's just to show you 
how to get in and out of that menu, an example of where you might use it. So what happens if I make loads of changes to this one particular wheel? So I have the steering on and let's say I want the steering angle to be a bit higher. I want that from 20 up to say 30. So I've clicked on it. I can hit enter and type in 30 or I can use the mouse wheel and scroll that up to 30. And then I hit the middle wheel again to accept it. That's that one done. Now let's say we also change the friction to say perhaps 50. If I hit enter this time, remove that number and type in 50. So let's also change the offset height from 32 to, let's just say, 25. So now I've made all those changes to that wheel suspension there. I want to copy those settings over to this one, but instead of having to remember all of the things that I've changed and what I've changed the numbers to, we can basically copy and paste them. So let's open up Build Vision again. Control, mouse wheel. I don't want to copy everything because that's also going to change the name of the other wheel to front left, and I don't want to do that. So let's go down to steering angle. I'm going to tap home on the keyboard. Now I'm in copy mode. If I press the mouse wheel now, it's highlighted steering angle. If I go down to the height offset, mouse wheel is the height offset is being copied and friction mouse wheel again, just clicking it. And now those three things are tagged with the little green plus, And that means that it's ready. It's ready to copy those settings. In order to actually copy them, I need to press page up. So if I go over to the other wheel now and do control mouse wheel, I can now paste in those settings that I've just copied by using the page down key. There we are. And it says at the bottom there, pasted three settings. And you also, you probably noticed that the car dropped a little bit on that side, but notice the name hasn't changed. So if we weren't bothered about the name changing, if we just wanted to copy all of the settings for say a, a gun turret over there, we could just go into the build vision with control, hit the mouse wheel, and then just say insert, that would select everything. Then page up, that's copied all of those properties. Go to the other wheel or whatever it may be, do control, mouse wheel, and then do page down to paste all of those properties. But notice it's changed the name to front left when it's actually the front right. So I'll just quickly refresh what the, uh, the keys are for all of these, because it is quite complicated. Control brings up the, the peak view, as it's called. If I click the mouse wheel, it brings up the full menu. I use the mouse wheel to select the thing that I want to change. If it's for the name, I hit enter and start typing in the new name, whatever it may be. Hit enter. And then if I want to change a setting, like the steering angle, I can click the mouse wheel on it, turn the dial, click the mouse wheel, and that's it set. If I want to copy all of the settings that I've made in here, including the name, you can do insert, then page up to actually copy them. Then you'd go to the other object, whatever it may be, control, click the mouse wheel, and then hit page down to paste all of those settings. If you just want to do a couple of settings, then on the first item, control, mouse wheel, find the thing you want to copy. Let's say it's the steering angle. Hit home to go into copy mode, select it to tell it which one you want to copy, page up to copy it, go to where you're copying it to, control and mouse wheel, and then do page down just to paste that one thing that you've copied. Now, personally, I find that a little bit excessive, but it is quite useful. And if you take the time to learn what those keys are, you'll fly through it in the future. If you're interested in learning how to use the autopilot, use hinges to set up an adjustable height to connect a rover, use hinges to create a door that swings open and closes flush with your ship, get the best performance you can out of your turbines, use sensors to create doors that automatically open when you approach, learn how to use a projector, learn how sorters and whitelists and blacklists work, set up an automated inventory manager, or just learn how to build a miner that is capable of getting to space and back. Then visit my channel for these tutorials and a lot more. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.